How will you react? What will be your thoughts? When despite your prayers for protection and security, the care and precaution that you've done, still, the COVID-19 virus infects your family. Will you question God? Or will you keep silent and accept what happens as part of God's plan? This is a Taeyong and Plaza family testimony of our COVID-19 battle. With our testimony, we would like to honor God and lift up the name of Jesus. He is mighty in the midst of our family's crisis. He is our healer and our provider. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Here's what happened. It all started on May 1st, when three of us presented different symptoms. We initially thought it was because of the summer heat that came rolling in at that time. But then, two more family members got sick. And by the next day, our most vulnerable ones got sick, our pregnant and our baby. This continued on for a few more days. And on May 6th, my brother-in-law Linus was diagnosed with pneumonia and we decided to isolate him in one of our rooms here in the flat. By the next week, our swabs came back and seven out of 10 tested positive for the coronavirus. By praying, asking the Lord for comfort and healing for all our symptoms, all the more for the pregnant and the children. It wasn't easy, especially when we were in danger ourselves. I was also still working, so I was juggling between sick patients at work and sick patients at home. Soon I also became sick. It was difficult at first, knowing you have a possibly lethal virus in your system and no knowledge as to what it can do to you, especially due to the fact that Andrea is pregnant. But somehow the Lord's promises in His Word and overflowing prayers made thinking about it a whole lot easier. I was able to cope with the help of the Lord through prayers, personal devotion, family devotion, and most especially through my family, special mention to my mom, who did all the work when we were so down and out with the fever and all our symptoms. We trusted the Lord. He gave us guidance through His words. We prayed together. We also avail of medical treatment and herbal medicine. And the Lord has given me a strong and prayerful wife. Our quiet time with the Lord and corporate prayer with the family. And also prayers from our Trinity family and the church. Almost every day, we have a message that we are praying for you. And for that, we are very, very thankful. Word of God, family, and personal devotions, and being together as family. My source of encouragement is 2 Corinthians 4, 8 and 9. We are pressed but not crushed, persecuted but not abandoned, struck down but not destroyed. The Lord is always with us, even through the toughest times. And we are very blessed as well to have our mother, who was a model throughout our symptoms. She always looked onto the Lord, and I saw that as a great encouragement as well for me to look onto Him and to just trust in Him that He is suffering. My source of encouragement is in Deuteronomy chapter 31, verses 6 to 7, which says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. John 15, 5 to 8. Ask whatever you wish and will be done for you. That alone is a confirmation that we are secured and healing is not impossible even with the odds are against us. God's message to me is in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7. Cast all your fears, doubts, worries, and negative thoughts down at His feet. God is in control. He is sovereign. Before COVID came, the Lord had given me His word in Psalm 112, verse 7, which says, He does not fear bad news. His heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. It was a warning, but I did not take it seriously. 
Naalala ko lang siya nung hinintay namin yung result ng swab. My heart melted in fear when pito in my family tested positive. It was like a death sentence. But the Word of God already directed my heart to be steadfast, trusting in the Lord. In the thickest of our battle against COVID-19, the Lord has given us another word in Isaiah chapter 26, verses 3 to 4, which says, God, you give true peace to people who depend on you, to those who trust in you. So trust in the Lord always because in the Lord, yeah, you have a place of safety forever. Sa simula, kalagitnaan, hanggang matapos ang laban, salita ni Lord ang aming kinakapitan. Source ng aming lakas, hope and victory against the enemy virus. We would like to thank the Lord because even though we are COVID positive, we are not in critical state and no need for hospital admission and financial provision since I don't have insurance. No deadly symptoms, peace, strength, everyday protection, healthy pregnancy, and negative result for COVID-19 tests for me and Valerie. His sovereignty, we got closer as a family to the Lord. It is God's will that we undergo a COVID virus experience. Despite our prayer of protection and precaution na ginawa namin, God is good. He is sovereign. In Isaiah 55, verse 9 says, As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. God fought our battles and He allowed mild symptoms to happen, especially to our one year and four months old baby. He granted miracles for Linus medical treatment at private hospitals despite the fact that he has no health card. He answers our prayers for no complications of our symptoms. To date, five of our family members who tested positive now has their first negative test results. We believe that God will give us full recovery soon. Our family is so grateful to our God. In Exodus chapter 23, verse 25, God says, Worship the Lord your God, and His blessing will be on your food and water. I will take away sickness from among you, and none will miscarry or bury in your land. I will give you a full lifespan. I took God at His word. I worshiped God when I was unwell. When our family members were sick, we gathered to worship and pray. We built an altar of praise at home. Not a physical altar, but an altar of prayer. Our God wants our family and individually to worship Him. Sabi niya, sasambahin natin siya at aalisin niya ang sakit sa ating kalagitnaan. Check your family's worship. Build an altar of praise. Gather your family to worship God at hayaan niyo to parin niya ang pangako niya sa kanyang salita. Our prayer request, complete healing for all of us. To God be the glory, honor, and praises. We want to give all the glory to God. Joshua 24, 15 But as for me and my household, we will serve